Hello there. Today we're going to go on a very special adventure. Wherever you are right now, stand up on the spot where you are. If you're in your kitchen, your bedroom, your bathroom, your living room, your toilet, it might be a bit tricky in there, but stand up on the spot where you are and march along with me. Here goes. Cha, 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 cha. We're going on a story hunt. We're going to the library. We're super excited. But what will the story be? Before we get to that, I think we should do a quick warm up. With both your hands, touch your head. That's it. Put your hands on top of your head. Brilliant. Now, touch your knees. That's it. Touch your knees. I know. Scratch your armpits. That's it. Scratch your armpits. Tickle yourself under your armpits. And finally, this is a tricky one. Pat your head and rub your tummy. Pat your head and rub your tummy. Well done. I'd like you now to pull a happy face. A big happy face. Go on, a big happy face. Maybe a thumbs up. Maybe a sad face. No, it's a sad face. How about an angry face? Or even a silly face? one of those faces at the screen now. In fact, I tell you what, if mum, dad, the person in charge has got a camera, why not pull one of those faces at the camera and take that photo and send it to Nottingham City Libraries. Already, so happy faces, sad faces, angry faces, silly faces. Well done. Oh, right, we're going to go on a story hunt today, and because we'll be hunting for things, I'd like to get us into the mood. So occasionally, I might, in our story, say that I want you to go and fetch something from somewhere in your house or the place that you are. So, uh, first of all, I'd like you to go and find something red. As quickly as you can, go and find something red and bring it back to the screen you're watching this on. You ready? Here we go. Ten. Nine. Go and get something red. The more unusual, the better. Six. Five. Quick, come back to the monitor. Four. Three. Quick, have you got something red? Two. One. Brilliant. Right, put that red thing on the table or floor in front of you. Now, let's try something blue. Go and fetch something blue. It'll be more fun if it's different to the thing that you brought the first time. You ready, so? Ten. Nine. Go and get something blue. Seven. Six. Something blue from somewhere in your house. Four. Three. Two. One. Have you got it? Great. Put it next to the first item that you brought on the floor or on that table. Last of all, I'd like you to fetch something yellow. You ready? You know the rules. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Off you go and find something yellow. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. You've brought that back. So in front of you right now, you should have something red, something blue, and something yellow. At the end of this presentation, why not get your parent or the person in charge to take a photo holding these three random objects and send that photo to Nottingham City Libraries. And if you're enjoying yourself, please leave a comment below in the box, like or share this video. Wonderful. Are you ready for our story hunt? Let's go. Marching on the spot with me. Cha, 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 cha. We're going on a story hunt. We're going to the library. We're super excited. But what will the story be? Hang on. If we are going to go to the library, we'd better take our books back. You have got 10 seconds to fetch your favourite book, magazine or comic as quickly as you can. You ready? Off you go. 10, 9, 
eight. If you can't find your favourite book, just grab a book. It doesn't have to belong to you. It could be a fiction or non-fiction book. Just bring it back as quickly as you can. Seven, six, five, four, three. Have you got that book? Bring it back and well done. That's it. We've got our books. We're ready to go. Quick, come back to the screen and as we march again, here we are. So, chug, 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 chug. We're going on a story hunt. We're going to the library. We're super excited. But what will the story be? Oh, hang on. I don't know about the weather in Nottingham today, but as I look out the window, it looks quite cold and quite windy. I think we need to wear hats, gloves, coats, and maybe scarves. You've got 10 seconds. Bring back either a hat, some gloves, a coat, or a scarf. And parents, be sure to get a photo of what they're wearing for the rest of our story hunt. You ready? You've got 10 seconds. Bring back a hat, some gloves, or a scarf. Here we go. 10, 9, Eight, come back to the screen as quickly as you can. Seven, six, don't put them on in the hallway, put them on in front of the screen. Three, two, one, and back you come, back you come, wearing your hats, your gloves, your scarves, maybe even your coats. I think we're ready for the weather. Let's go. Everybody ready? Standing in front of your screen. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. We're going on a story hunt. We're going to the library. We're super excited. But what will the story be? Hang on. We're taking books back to the library. But libraries are full of all kinds of colourful books that we might want to borrow. I know. You've got ten seconds. Fetch a bag. It doesn't have to be a shopping bag. It could be a rucksack or it could be a shoulder bag. It could be a mum's handbag if you really want. Fetch a bag. Ten. Nine. Go and find that bag. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Come back with the bag. Three. Two. One. Brilliant. Right, so now you've got something red, yellow and blue. You've got a book, you've got a hat, and you've got a bag. Parents, carers, people in charge, please take a photo of them holding all of this stuff, wearing their wonderful costumes, and send it to Nottingham City Libraries. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to like or share it and leave a comment below. You ready for the story hunt? Pop all those things on the table or the floor in front of you because we're leaving the house. You ready? Out the door. Eek, bang, run for the bus. Wait for me, onto the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Off the bus, bye. Up the library steps. Cha, 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 cha. Do you think you can do that with me? You ready? Open the door. Eek, bang, run for the bus. Onto the bus, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Off the bus, bye! Up the library steps. Cha, 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 cha. Oh no! The library's closed! Shall we try the door? Put one hand on the door handle, put the other hand on the door handle, and pull. Heave and pull. Heave and pull! Heave! Hmm, we can't get inside. But wait! Somebody's coming to the window. Why? Hello there! I can't let you into the library right now. You see, there's a little monster at the back of the library and he has stolen the keys to the door. We need a brave and clever adventurer to come into the library to take the keys back from the monster. 
If you think that you are brave enough to find a monster and get the keys to the library back, show me your muscles like this. That's it, show me your muscles like this. Now, show me your muscles like this. And show me your muscles like this. If you think that you are clever enough to get the keys back from the monster, scratch your chin and have an idea. That's right, scratch your chin and have an idea. So if you're brave enough, show your muscles. And if you're clever enough, have an idea. And if you're ready to be an adventure, give me a thumbs up and wave your hands and say yay, yay! No, say it loud enough that your deaf elderly neighbours are watching the TV right now or doing a jigsaw and you, the people who live on the other side of the street from you know that you are enjoying this storytelling session with Nottingham City Libraries. So if you're ready to become an adventurer, put your thumbs up and shout yay at the top of your voice. You ready? So, yay! Shh! On tiptoes, here we go. Tip. Toe into the library. Tip. Toe up to the shelf. Shh! Let's take this book out and look behind it. No, no monsters there. I know, let's take this book out. Ready, take this one out and look behind it. No, no monsters there either. Let's take this book out. Take it off the shelf and look behind. No, no monsters. Shh. Did you hear that noise? children's library. Are you ready? Standing up on the spot where you are. Tip, toe, past the shelves. Tip, toe, into the children's library. Tip, toe, up to the... Hang on a minute. I thought the librarian said there was a monster in here. There's no monster. It's a cuddly toy. You've got 10 seconds to fetch your favourite cuddly toy. You ready? Off you go. 10, 9, doesn't matter what size it is, bring back a cuddly toy. 8, 7, 6, 5, go and find that cuddly toy. 3, 2, 1, and bring back your cuddly toy. And remember, parents, people in charge, I would love to see a photo of the children holding their cuddly toys and watching the story. What's that? You stole the keys to the library? Why did you do that? Oh, the little dog says he took the keys to the library because what with all the libraries having been closed so much lately, He's been feeling very sad and very lonely because nobody has been reading stories to him. Well, that's okay, little dog. A lot of libraries are opening up again now. Maybe I can read a story to you. Are you ready for your story? Sit down on a comfortable chair or on the floor with the monitor you're watching on and get ready for the story. And remember, parents, carers, people in charge, if you're enjoying this video, leave a comment, like or share this video with your friends. Our story is all about three very clever creatures. They were the Billy Goats Gruff. Now, time and melting water from the high snow-covered mountains had divided the hillside of the fairy tale valley in two. There was lush green grass on one side of the hill and lush green grass on the other. But the Billy Goat's Graf did not dare cross the rickety rackety bridge. For under it lurked a troll with a huge horrible head, little dark eyes and horrid sharp teeth. Can you show me your troll faces everyone? So big horrible head, little 
the dark eyes, hot and sharp teeth, pull the worst face you can think to pull. And there is nothing that trolls like eating more than fat billy goats. Well, the day came when the grass on the billy goat's rough side of the hill was gone. They would have to cross the rickety, rackety bridge. But they came up with a plan. The smallest of the three billy goats would go first. The eldest and largest would go last. The smallest billy goat approached the bridge. Are you ready to help me, everyone? Here we go. Clip, clop, went the billy goat. Can you show me your hooves as we go? Clip, clop, went the billy goat. Well done. Creak, creak, went the bridge. Can you show me your bridges as we go? Creak, creak, went the bridge. From under the hedge, no, from under the bridge, the horrible head of the horrible troll appeared. Who's there clip clopping over my bridge? The youngest billy goat spoke to the troll. It is I, the youngest of the three billy goats, Gruff. Really? Well, I'm going to wait you for my supper. As the troll clambered onto the bridge, the billy goat thought as fast as a billy goat can. He said, please don't eat me. What did he say? Can you say it with me? With the action. He said, please don't eat me. If you wait, my elder brother will be here soon. He's much fatter than me. What is he? He's much fatter than me. The foolish troll allowed the billy goat to clip-clop across the bridge and went back to his hiding place. Presently, the second of the three billy goats approached the bridge. Clip-clop, went the billy goat. Show me your hooves, everyone, as we go. Clip-clop, went the billy goat. Well done. Show me your bridges, everyone, as we go. Creak, creak, went the bridge. Show me your bridges. Creak, creak, went the bridge. From under the bridge, the horrible head of the horrible troll appeared. Who's there clip clopping over my bridge? The second of the three billy goats gruff spoke to the troll. It is I, the second of the three billy goats gruff, he said. Really? said the troll. Well, I'm going to eat you for my supper. As the troll clambered onto the bridge, the billy goat thought as fast as a billy goat can. He said, please don't eat me. What did he say? Could you say it with me, with the action? You ready? So, please don't eat me. If you wait, my elder brother will be here soon. He's much Fatter than me. What's his elder brother? Can you do the action with me? Much fatter than me. The foolish troll allowed the billy goat to clip clop across the bridge and went back to his hiding place. Finally, the eldest and largest billy goat approached the bridge. You ready, everyone? Show me your ho clo hooves. Here we go. So, clip clop went the billy goat. What did the billy goat go? You ready? Clip clop went the billy goat. Show me your bridges everyone as the bridge went. Creak creak went the bridge. What did the bridge go? Creak creak went the bridge. From under the bridge the horrible head of the horrible troll appeared. Who's there clip clopping over my bridge? The billy goat spoke to the troll. It is I. The eldest and largest of the three billy goats gruff. Really? Well, I'm going to eat you for my supper. As the troll clambered up onto the bridge, the billy goat ran. He ran as fast as a billy goat can. Bam! He hit the troll in the tummy. Whoosh! He threw the troll into the air. Up, up, up. He went above the fast flowing river. Down, down, down he came with a swish. What did he come down with? He came down with a swish. From that day forth, 
the three billy goats gruff were free to eat green grass on either side of the rickety, rackety bridge. And the troll, with his huge, horrible head, little dark eyes and horrid sharp teeth, was never seen again. Give yourselves a big pat on the back and a round of applause. I hope you enjoyed that story. If you did, please leave a comment about it in the box below. Like or share this video. I wonder if our cuddly toys liked it. Did you like it? Oh, he's feeling much better now, but he's lost the keys again. Well, this is awful. If we can't find the keys to the library, then we won't be able to get Nottingham City reading again. Quick, you've got ten seconds. Fetch some keys. Ten. Nine. Quick, go and get the keys. It doesn't matter if the house keys, toy keys, car keys. Give them back to your mum and dad or the person in charge when you're finished with them. Fetch some keys. Three, two, one. Have you got your keys? Bring them back to the monitor you're watching this on. Well done. Oh, thank you very much for finding the keys to the library. You've proved that you are a brave and clever adventurer. And we hope to see you in Nottingham City Libraries again very soon. Give yourselves a pat on the back and a huge round of applause. I hope that you have enjoyed our story hunt session today. If you have, please take a photo of the child who watched this video with all the things that you gathered up and send it to Nottingham City via their social media. There are lots more events and activities happening in Nottingham City through the autumn and before you know it, it'll be the Summer Reading Challenge 2021. I'd like to say thank you to everyone at Nottingham City for helping me to make this video today. If you've enjoyed it, please like it, leave a comment, or share it, um, share it using the links below. My name's John Kirk. You'll find me at www.john-kirk.co.uk. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you can't read this piece of paper I'm currently holding up, and I suspect you won't be able to, I'll make sure that this is included in the video information. Thank you all very much for being here, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. For now, on behalf of myself and Nottingham City Libraries, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>